my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my November beauty favorites, which I'm excited because I have some really good, fun, new stuff to share, including a purse, a little fashion. I discovered some really good new makeup products this month that have kind of like changed my life a little bit, so let's just get into it. But first, nail polish as huge. I only have one nail polish to share because um, I kind of just did other random stuff that I'd already had or like, you know what I mean? Like stuff I've talked about before. But this was my Thanksgiving color. This is never a duels moment, which you guys told me what that means and I forgot something about the airport in Washington DC. I'm not sure. This is from the OPI fall winter. You guys, there's like a, what the fuck is that? That was like I was hallucinating. Something black floating in the air. Anywho, this is from the OPI Fall Winter Washington DC collection. I did a whole video on that. I will link it right up there if you're interested. But I said in that video I want to use this on Thanksgiving and I totally waited and I did and I loved it. It's a very odd macaroni and cheese type color. So if you're not into that, I understand. I know it's like kind of out there. But I thought it was really cool. It wasn't as dark as I thought it was going to be. But I didn't mind because I liked the way it came out anyway. And I just thought it was fun. I love yellow polishes and I love any kind of twist on it. And... This literally looks like mac and cheese, which who doesn't love that? Now into makeup. I have a new makeup sponge favorite. This is the Miracle Diamond Sponge from Real Techniques. It's part of their Bold Metals collection, which I love the Bold Metals collection. I have quite a few of those brushes and I totally love them. I did a first impressions video on this, so if you want to see that, I will have it linked right up there. And spoiler alert, I loved it, obviously. It's in my favorites video. The density of the sponge and everything was just as good as the Beauty Blender. I loved the flat side for, like, covering more areas at once. I loved the pointy side for getting into my inner corner area. And then I loved all the other angles for every other thing that you could think of. It's just got more sides and angles to use in the Beauty Blender, and it's half the price, literally half the price. So I really, really liked this. It also came really clean really nicely. I was shocked by that. I was like, oh, it's white. It's going to get totally trashed, but it comes clean really, really well. I have a couple eyeshadow favorites, single eyeshadow favorites, which is random. This is one of my all-time favorite old MAC eyeshadows. This is called Honesty, which I used um, some of my old MAC pots and pans and whatever they're called. Pots? Pans? <laughs> I used some of my old MAC eyeshadows to back to MAC so I had enough to do a lipstick and an eyeshadow and I chose to repurchase this because this is one of the ones I had to like dump out because it was shattered and gone. So I repurchased this and I love this. I used to wear this every single day in high school. This all over my lid and then like a fun green or teal under my lash line which was... Uh, let's not talk about it. But I love this because it's a really nice just kind of glittery, kind of taupey glittery shimmery bronzy color. I just said a lot of things, but it's like not quite gold, but it's a really nice shimmery all over the lid color and it builds up nicely or you can like have it kind of sheer. It's really, really nice and I just love it for days where I'm just kind of lazy and like I want a little color in my lid, but I don't want to work too hard. Slap this on. And then this I bought with the VIB sale situation. This is the NARS. What is this exactly? I don't even know. This is like their new shimmery eyeshadows and I got the color Earth Shine. It doesn't say what exactly they're called. This is so beautimous. I don't want to blind you with the mirror. It's just so beautiful. And it applies really, really nicely with your finger. And you can build it up. Again, kind of shear it out. I heard really good things about these. And I was dying to try them after I saw, like, the swatches on Instagram. And I picked this one up. And I love it for, like, just some color in the center of the lid. Or in, like, the first inner half. It is beautiful. I think there's six shades of these. And I kind of want to try another one. But they're ridiculously expensive. Well, for an eyeshadow, anyway. Like, this tiny thing was, like, 25 bucks, I think. 21, 22, something around there. But I used the VIB points and sale, whatever, to do it. And I'm glad I did. Because I love it. I have some fake eyelash favorites, which my brother got married last month and I wanted to find a pair of fake eyelashes to wear for photos and whatever, um, but I'm not, I don't know that much about fake eyelashes. I don't love wearing them, but now I do. This is the Andrea, which I don't have anymore. I just have this to tell you what it is. I'm wearing them right now. I need to go to Target and buy more. I bought them from Target. They came in a twin pack, which was awesome. This is the number 53 in black. They're very lightweight. And why I don't like fake eyelashes is because like, I think I already have heavy eyelids to begin with with because when I put them on I just feel like I look like my eyes are half shut. I always felt like that when I was in dance competitions and they made me wear them. I was like I feel like I look like my eyes are closed on stage. <laughs> but these I've just been wearing them just for like because because I can't feel them I mean obviously I can feel them a little bit, but it's incredible like I it, it's so nice And it's just nice to have that little extra zhuzh. I don't wear them every day I've been wearing them for filming. I wore them to uh, An OPI event the other day, which is really exciting I wore them to the rehearsal dinner to the wedding Like I've just been wearing them on events and I will continue to have these on stock for events because they're really easy to apply And they just feel really good and they're lightweight I don't feel like I think it's pretty obvious that I have fake eyelashes on in real life, but I don't think it's like over the top. 
They're lightweight and natural, yet they give you some zhuzh. I don't know, I'm looking in the mirror behind my camera. But um, I really, really like them, and you should try them if you haven't. And they're at Target, so they're cheap. I think like a twin pack was like less than 10 bucks. I have some lip favorites. I decluttered my lip products, and I was decluttering my lip liners. I don't know if that video's up yet or not. It should be. I want to get them up before December. But whenever I'm looking for a red lip liner, I don't have one. So when I was decluttering, I was like, oh, I want to get a red lip liner. And I've used it several times since I got it. And I just got the NYX, what is this, lip liner, just their normal range of lip liners. This is in the color hot red. It works really really well and I feel like especially with red I need a lip liner to just make sure everything is clean and in lines and everything like that. I had mainly like maroons or like mauve colors and I would try to use them with red but then it just didn't look right so I just wanted a red. These are super cheap I believe like under three bucks or something like that. I'll have it linked down below but um, these are just an amazing lip pencil for the price and I love NYX you guys know that. And then I've also discovered my new favorite lipsticks which let me know if you want like a swatch haul review on these because Smashbox did send me, not all of them, but um, of, like eight, I think, so I could like make a whole video out of it if you wanted. These are the Smashbox Legendary Lipsticks, Be Legendary Lipsticks, squeeze me, and um, they have sent me quite a few, but I've just been addicted to these two. First off is the shade Bang. It's the perfect holiday red, and these are so freaking comfortable, like so comfortable. Oh, it's beautiful. It's matte, but it's it doesn't dry, so it's like, it's not super glossy on your lips, but it doesn't harden and dry, which is something times like not what I love about matte liquid lipsticks. They're comfortable. They feel like a chapstick. There's no taste. I like wore this out of the house and it lasted for hours and I was like I never do that with lipstick and I love it. Immediately my new favorite lipstick because they're so comfortable. And then this was the shade that drew me to these lipsticks to begin with. This is in the shade Punked. It's kind of like a gray taupe lavender color and it is beautiful. You guys know I love my like lavender lipstick. This is kind of like gray and taupe and weird but I'm so into it. I actually wore it out to lunch in North Carolina and everybody was staring at me, but I was like, I don't care. I have a skincare favorite, which I also did a whole video on, so I won't bore you with more, but <laughs> this is the L'Oreal Pure Clay Mask. This is the Detox and Brighten Mask. This is 1000% a dupe, maybe better than the Glam Glow Super Mud Clearing Treatment. It has better ingredients. It's a little bit bigger than the Glam Glow. This is $10, the Glam Glow is $70. But this I use all the time. It smells really good. It's one of those masks that um, when it hardens, it kind of pulls out the oil and you can see the oil spots, like your blackheads all over your nose. It's so satisfying. If you wanna know more, I will We'll link that video up there in the corner so you can hear me talk all about it but it is a 1000% favorite a life-changing favorite and a money saving favorite for me like holy crap this is gonna save me so much money and then last but not least I have a purse favorite which I just I'm pretty boring with purses I buy like tan purses this is life-changing and I'm not gonna wear it like every single day but I've already worn it a couple times out and I get so many like questions and compliments I got it from mod cloth first of all there's this side, which is Snow White, but then when you turn it around... I know, I know. And I got the chain tucked in. There is a chain. I guess you could put it in there and then use it as a clutch. <gasps> Life-changing! But I got this on Mod Cloth. It's some designer who I should have looked up, but I didn't. I'll have this link down below if they still have it. But how amazing is this? And they had some other different prints. I saw they had like a flounder version and a Tinkerbell version. Not double-sided, but it was like the same designer. It has really nice like sequence on it. And her bow is glittery. And then the Evil Queen's crown is glittery and her lips are glittery. And it's just so nice. And there's actually some pockets inside. It's big enough to fit my Kate Spade lacy wallet, which is like a must because sometimes when I use smaller purses, I have to like not take a wallet because I those are my wallets that I love. But this fits it and it fits a bunch of stuff and it's just amazing it's a great conversation starter so yeah I will have this link down below but I just wanted to show it to you because I'm obsessed <laughs> okay guys that is it thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video give it a thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe because holiday me is about to begin and that means I'm going to be uploading every other day in the month of December until Christmas so join me for that it's gonna be fun festive stuff. I almost said the S word. Who says the S word anymore? Thank you for joining me. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Snapchat for more daily fun and I'll see you guys very soon. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye!